Alright, so what is going on guys? I got a special treat today. Um, we are going to be working on the brakes and the rotors, or the calipers I should say. We're going to be upgrading to 13 inch rotors and Cobra calipers. In the future I would like to paint the calipers because to make them look cleaner I like to do like a white um, with I don't know, maybe red lettering or something. I'm not sure. I haven't really uh, thought about it too much, but it's just something I want to do. All right, so now we got the car raised up on jacks, and now we just get to take the tires off. That's my dad. <laughs> He's here for moral support. <laughs> but um, got it raised up. Now we just gotta take the wheel off. So I'm probably gonna start on this side, the driver's side. Off. Now it's time to take the caliper off, then the rotor, and then like my dad said, we gotta put the rotor on, and then put the caliper on, and then we break the seal, right? Okay, <laughs> gotta, gotta remember that. And what are you doing right now? I was just looking at the stupid rack. Oh, okay. Just checking things out. Okay, well, we'll get started then. Finally got the rotors off. Here is the comparison. The 13 inch rotor versus the... 11 and a half. 11 and a half. So, definitely gonna be bigger brakes. But funny story, I guess uh, the first bolt I was going the complete wrong way. <laughs> So I was just torquing it down even more, so that was fun. But um, now we get to throw those rotors on, and then the Cobra calipers, and then we get to do the funness of bleeding the brakes. <laughs> so new rotor and new caliper is on, the new Cobra caliper. Doesn't that look so clean? It looks so much better. And the other rotor had all these, uh, would you say, would you call it grooves? Yeah, you know, all those grooves. Said you could play music from them. <laughs> but here comes the fun part of uh, switching out these lines. And I'm making a mess. <laughs> Hopefully it just breaks. It breaks pretty easy. Maybe. Oh yeah, there we go, I think. Yep, yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, I'll put the line over here just in case. Well, it's gonna drip. There's no way around it. Just like changing oil. You can be as clean as possible and you still get some. Alright. I can't see where I'm going. <clears throat> I got you, I got you, I got you. Uh, is it supposed to go through? Should go in a certain way. There's a tab. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All the way to the clip or no? Yeah. There you go. No, don't do this to me. <laughs> <sighs> but look how nice those are, though. Those are clean. Can't wait to see what those look like behind the wheel. <laughs> we gotta bleed. Do we gotta do even the rear wheels? We gotta bleed those or just the fronts? You should just have to do the fronts. Okay. Because I know sometimes you gotta like start with the farthest one and then work your way up. All right, so we just finished swapping over the other Cobra caliper with the rotor, and now we get to start the process of bleeding the brakes. Now the reason I haven't showed too much of what we're doing because it's honestly really just that simple: pulling the calipers off, taking off the rotor, <laughs> and the rotors weren't seized, which is pretty good. So <laughs> just bleeding some brakes. <laughs> oh wait! <laughs> Gotta take that that one off. Oh, that's close. <laughs> yeah, I stripped a bolt today. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Who cut themselves though? On whose car? Because he couldn't get the bolt loose because he kept turning the wrench the wrong way. 
know a lot. <laughs> you can ask it all you want. I know a lot. <laughs> Finish the brakes. Thanks, Dad, for the help. Takes up more space in the wheel now, so it looks a lot better. Don't got no tiny rotors now. <laughs> But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.